it's Amy. Welcome back to the channel. Mom and I are here again today with another Am I the Antagonist post, so let's hop right in. Am I the antagonist for calling my sister-in-law an antagonist for buying a more expensive baby high chair for when she babysits my baby? <laughs> my husband and I, 35-year-old male and 31-year-old female, had our baby seven months ago and now I have to go back to work soon and on the days both my husband and I have the evening shift or the same weekend shift, my husband's brother and his wife, 40-year-old male and 42-year-old female, offered to babysit. They are child-free and work nine to five and no weekends. Yesterday I was visiting and she showed me how she prepared their apartment with safety things. Mm -hmm. She also purchased a baby chair, a thousand dollar baby <laughs> high chair. I was appalled because the one I have is $30. <laughs> I told her that she was being an antagonist for having a more expensive chair for my child at her place when I have a $30 chair. Hmm. What? <laughs> okay, uh, she just shrugged and said that she was thinking about the rest of her interior and wanted a beautiful piece mm -hmm. because it will be in the kitchen for long periods of time. I was furious and left but my husband wants me to apologize for being rude. How am I the one who's being rude here when she obviously overtopped us on our own child? <laughs> okay, she offered an update, but initial thoughts? Okay, uh, this is almost um, comical because, all right, when I have a 30, that's the chair she chose. She chose a $30 chair. Don't get upset if she's gonna go with a $30 chair. And <laughs> it's not like, was it her sister-in-law? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not like the sister-in-law is trying to force the thousand-dollar chair off on her. It's at a whole nother location. I don't even see why this is <laughs> up for debate or discussion. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm speechless. This is so dumb. Yes. <laughs> this is so dumb. First off, be grateful. You know how much people have to pay for childcare. Yeah. Like, be grateful that they're vol they're yeah. child-free. Which means they probably didn't even want to deal with this kind of stuff. <laughs> but they're doing that to help you mm -hmm. so you don't have to pay for childcare and you're upset that they bought something nice for your child. Like, yeah, there's oh. probably a lot of other things going on and she may be generally just envious that yeah. they, because they have no children, there are no daycare costs, school, none of the stuff, all those medical bills you have for little babies and stuff. So, yeah, so now they got all this extra money <laughs> and seems like she's upset about more than just the chair. It's, it's just about the money, so, hey. Man, if I were them, like, they could get real petty with this one. <laughs> They'd be like, okay, well, um, sorry we upset you. We're going to go ahead and return the chair, and you find some, um, you know, daycare for your child. Mm -hmm. like, they could become very petty, mm -hmm. like, do not choose this hill to die on. But let's read the update and see if that sheds more light on things. So P says, thanks for your opinion. I understand that I was being wrong in calling my sister-in-law an antagonist. I will speak to her this weekend and apologize. Oh, we love that. <laughs> we love to see growth. <laughs> I've spoken to my husband now and came to the conclusion that we are hiring a babysitter for the times we're working at the same time. It's going to be four to six times a month, so it won't be a big issue. Wow. You're still the antagonist. Yeah. <laughs> So she's going to apologize, but then try to punish them to where you have a thousand dollar chair with no baby to sit in. That's what it sounds like. That is so horrible. There is a slight chance that there's some nuance here, like that the sister-in-law subtly rubs in their wealth. There, uh -huh. there is a possibility, but the fact that her husband also thinks she's overreacting, mm -hmm. like, is, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's such a... Ugh. Because also, like, having your baby spend time with family rather than getting, like, a random babysitter, mm -hmm. I think is always a, a good choice. Yeah. So, she just burned that bridge for what? Mm -hmm. For what? Because they got a luxury item for your child. Like, oh, <laughs> this one's yeah. upsetting for me. Yeah, but what if they're feeding the, the sister-in-law feeds the baby, like desire food and then oh the baby yeah they're comes like here's home. some caviar baby yeah. and, some and then the baby rock. comes home and won't eat the plain old girls off the shelf you know <laughs> no no okay so my verdict on this one op you are the antagonist even after your little moment of growth and deciding to apologize you're still the antagonist <laughs> because it seems like you really 
are not approaching this from a place of gratitude for what they were offering mm. to do for you. So, yeah, um, OP is the antagonist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so we'll stop this one there. If you enjoyed the series, make sure you give us a like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>